Attribution is a really big issue on the internet and, I mean, anywhere. There's, there's getting paid for your stuff and then there's getting credit for your stuff. And I think there's a lot of people who would be fine to not get paid. I mean, obviously you need to put food on the table and all of that, but generally speaking, that it's more important to be able to get credit for the stuff that you do. There's, a, I mean, it's your work, your brain, your sweat, your phraseology, your toiling over which place you should put this thing, your connections being made between different facts. It's visceral, it becomes a part of you. I cited an example of something that I had done and it was a look at the Holocaust Museum shooting in Washington, D.C. I noticed on NBC Nightly News, they had on, on a little segment of it, um, a man who was identified in the Chiron as a white separatist. And I sort of was like, who is this guy? And that's all he was identified as. And he was presented as an expert. So I went to the web, I did a little Googling, and I found out that this guy was, you know, sort of a crazy white supremacist. And on his website, he had talked basically about putting one over the media. And so I laid all that out, sent that post to Gawker, and a writer posted on it. And actually, I thought, you know, the writer's take was terrific. It was just a better stated, more succinct version of my take. And it had presented what I noticed on the nightly news, but also the various steps of the research that I had gone through. But the problem for me was that it didn't present the various steps of the research I had gone through saying, this is the research Rachel Sklar did. It was like Rachel Sklar noticed this and then went on to follow up on it in a way that was not clear who had done the follow up. Gawker does great work and I certainly don't think there was anything nefarious about that. They have really smart people. And, um, and also there's ridiculous time pressures. Um, and there is also a shorthand on the internet where, you know, you assume that people know that a blog like Gawker, based on those time pressures, has to pick up information from elsewhere and then give their particularly voicey take on it. But even so, you do the work, you see it picked up, you really want to see that work and that ownership acknowledged. So I think attribution and how you're using work, how much work you're using, and whether or not it's being amply credited is a really big issue right now on the web. Read and watch more from Rachel Sklar at btnn.tv.